I think it was through Mitch Friedman that we uh, we were introduced. Mitch had sent me some of his uh, recordings, you know, a sort of best of on a compilation tape. And I thought, yeah, I can, I can hear this where this guy's coming from, what he's doing here. And he's really, really entertaining. But he's never going to be, uh, um, you know, he's never going to have a huge audience because he doesn't take enough time and trouble over the recording process. It's, you know, you, you have to work to get into Stevie's music. I don't have any outtakes or any, you know, trashed, unreleased material. Everything I do has been released. That's part of the whole diary of the whole... Uh, the career had just been a diary, a very intimate, whatever I felt like doing was put out, and I would finish up 90 minutes worth, and that would be the new release, and then it was on to start the next one. I know what I'm doing. I keep trying. I keep doing more of it. I build up the quantity without thinking about starting over at the beginning to improve the quality. But I still know what I'm doing. Yeah. You wait and see. The whole tongue-in-cheek, suicidal kind of joke me, of me telling myself, well, I feel like that I've really done it all, you know, that since I was so prolific and did so much and touched on so many different styles of music, and still to this day, you know, don't consider pulling only my best things and trying to make them commercial for the marketplace. That's okay, I don't know what's real, what's the deal, where am I gonna go? Going to the Holocaust Parade It's time again for me to be evicted I keep doing my home and I do good But I don't know what makes me such a horrible guy to remove myself tonight You're crazy. Yeah, you're you nuts. Thank you. 